Hello everybody and welcome to Hydraulic Master once again. Today I'm just going to show you how to switch the direction of a pump. Uh, here we've got a Group 2 Galtec pump. It's quite a straightforward operation, but uh, I'd just like to run through it. We get a few requests about this uh, and I'd just like to show you how to do it. So, okay, let's start off removing these main, um, main bolts. I've obviously loosened these earlier just to make it a bit quicker on the, on the video. And then what we're trying to get to, we're trying to get to this front front flange here. And you'll see it's loosening up. Just waiting for these last two. Okay, so now we can get to the front. And all we've got to do, we're actually the, the object of this today is we need to switch this spindle so it moves from basically the top to the bottom. And then this front flange we would just turn 180 degrees. Okay. Now how we do that. We gently slide this off. This will obviously flip positions, but it will only go back one way, so you, you can't make any mistakes with that. Um, and then here, we need to slide out this. Now this part is going to go back exactly the same way. So I'm just putting it on the table, we've got the letter M, and I'm just going to lift it back up and put it the same way. This is really key. Okay, then we remove these to the spindle and the cog below. I'm pushing it in from, from behind here, it's just easier to get these from the back there, okay. And I'm just switching around, okay. So we've now got the, what was at the top is now at the bottom. And we'll put it all back together. As I said, this is going back in as we took it out. The key part with this is this little gasket. You can see the red and black gasket. That's actually two separate components. And as I've just dislodged it there, I'll put that back in a second. Okay. Right, we just need to make sure that's all in position. You can feel it. It's the fiddliest part of the job, to be honest. Okay. Position, just follow it round and get the bottom bottom part, that's it, and you can feel that nice and flush both ends. When it's in, it's in, it's very clear. Right, and then let's get our front face. And as I said before, sort of course only go back on one way, so we've now got the, the hole the spindle at the bottom. We just slide that on. Okay, that's all in order, and then we just tighten up our, our bolts, and now we've reversed the direction. Um, these bolts, of course, like with all pumps and hydraulics, when you tighten them, you need to check the torque, um, check the manufacturing, check the, uh, the manufacturer's guidelines. They do vary slightly from manufacturer and manufacturing pump to pump. Then the final thing that's important, because we switched the direction, you can see on the top of the pump here, there's an arrow that denotes the direction of the pump. Because we've switched it around, I'm just gonna scrub that out, put a new arrow on. Okay, and that's if I work on the pump again or somebody else does, they can see that I've, I've reversed it, so there's no, no surprises. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, as I said, it is quite straightforward. It can be a little bit fiddly, especially around that gasket. So it takes a little bit of practice, uh, but it's really important the gasket is not squashed or damaged um, within the pump and clearly that you tighten it to the correct torque. I hope that's been helpful for you. Um, any questions about this or any other hydraulic matter, please take a look at our website, hydraulic-master.com or email us at shop at hydraulic-master.com. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Have a great day. Thank you.